Hello, Robert Davis here with you again. I promised you a tutorial to calculate age between dates and this will be a brief one. It's not really involved but it gets a little tricky when you're doing the calculation. So what I've done is made this little application called age calculator and we have the little dialogue or form, a label, edit one text, button for calculating the age, then we have a label you can't see here, it's label two, and what its caption will eventually turn into is the calculated age. So let's run this and see how it works. I'm going to use my birthday and then tab and enter and that's exactly my age plus you get one decimal point to uh, indicate how close or how far away we are from the next birthday but that's right I'm 66.8 years old we'll tab and put in my wife's birthday tab enter she is 63.4 years old she had a birthday not that long ago and has what it looks like another uh, eight months to go let's look at the code for this it's really n not a lot to it but it can get tricky so we'll go to the code behind and what we do when that button is clicked on button one click we declare a var double to hold the calculated age it has to be a double and then we do the calculation for the dh variable that we created and here it is and i'm using today or now minus string to date edit one text divided by 365.24 and that's the right fraction that you need to stay very close really close and so we check if d age is greater than zero we're gonna post the age otherwise we're gonna post a message that tells them the age can't be calculated and why Here's where you got to uh, make the age string. And so we put in label 2 caption, age colon space float to string F, which means formatted float to string, the double of D age. FF number is the format, 6 to the left of the decimal, 1 to the right of the decimal. And that's really all you have to do. Now, if you have something else besides now or today's date, say you want to enter a different date, you could easily make another date entry. Text box edit and uh, make them put the date in but it's going to have to be today or earlier of course for this to work so you don't have to use now you could use an earlier date and that's how you get that done so i know it seems real simple but it took me a while to figure this out oh years ago and get this number right for calculating ages between two dates this one happens to calculate a person's age by their birth date so here it is again I'll type in that. oh if you type in a date that is later than today what you'll end up with is that message 
Age cannot be calculated. It must be greater than zero. This means it must be today's date or earlier. So if we go back here and put 5-9-2022, we get an age of zero. And that would be correct. If we put 5-9-2021 and calculate age, it would be exactly a year. And that's correct. So remember, you don't have to use now. You just need to make a way to capture the date that's today or earlier to do this calculation. And I've used this in a number of applications many times over, and it works great. So there's not that much to it. You just have to be careful on your calculation and your parentheses and divide bys and your uh, number and fraction. So, oh, let's see. Let's try 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, 1. And click on calculate age. And that's correct. You can't do anything earlier than this date. And a lot of applications don't even go that far back. But Delphi can handle this. As you can see in the code, it's not too difficult. So if you have questions, that's all there is to it. If you have questions uh, or comments, uh, leave those. And also, you might consider hitting the subscribe and notification bell so you get a notified exactly when I post a new tutorial or an announcement. I'm getting ready to soon make an announcement about a software package that I use almost all the time, particularly with database applications. I'll have an announcement about that very shortly. So you might want to watch for that too. But there you have it. Uh, and use this all you want. And uh, I'll see you next time on the next tutorial or announcement. I'll be back with you then. So thanks for spending this time with me. I'm Robert Davis. And I hope you have a great week. It's Monday here. And I'll see you in the next tutorial. Okay. Bye.